Welcome back everyone. Time to do another comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and an older device, the iPhone XS. Now, this might seem like a random comparison, and it kind of is, but a lot of people still own the iPhone XS, and it's very interesting to see how it compares to the latest flagship phone that really costs twice the price as it is right now in the used market. Because you can pick up an iPhone XS right now for like less than $500. You can pick up a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 for $1,000 brand new. So definitely when it comes down to the price tag, the iPhone XS is definitely the cheaper one, but it's definitely not like half the quality of the phone the Note 20 is by any means. If you want to pick up either of these ones, both of them will be linked down in the description below. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off with the screens, the iPhone XS has a 5.8 inch, I can't even speak today, Super Retina OLED display. It's 1125 by 2436, and it's a really good panel. Anytime I did anything with it, as I always say, it you know does the job. Of course, when you compare it to something like a 1440p 120 hertz panel, like yeah, it's probably not going to be as great. This phone doesn't have the 90 hertz or anything higher, but neither does the Note 20, so you can't really compare those two. And it's a smaller phone, so it'll feel better in the hand. You know, it's a little bit more manageable. You have that notch up top compared to the hole punch display in the Note 20, and it's never really bothered me, but that is something to consider. I truly think that the iPhone XS with that true tone capability and everything has a really good display, but again, it's not the best, and it's still not the best anymore. It wasn't the best when it first came out, but I still think the panel is really, really good on it, where the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 has a 6.7 inch Super AMOLED display, and it's a little bit bigger. Actually, it's much bigger as you can see. <laughs> And it does feel way bigger in the hand, but it doesn't always mean that bigger is better. And you have a 1080p panel on the Note 20, and the resolution is lower, the PPI is lower. When you have a bigger panel like this, it always makes more sense to pack up a higher resolution in it. This isn't a small phone by any means, and Samsung acted like it was. And in my opinion, the iPhone XS has their better looking panel, but I do like the Note 20 because it doesn't have a notch, it has that hole punch display, and I truly do think, you know, with that fingerprint sensor and the display and everything, the panel technology and everything may be better on the Note 20 because of the way it looks, but the iPhone XS has the better looking panel. You know, when you look at the plane, when you look at the screen and you're playing games and stuff, I think it looks better on the iPhone XS for sure. So hopefully that makes some sense. In terms of the thickness, you can see that actually I think the iPhone XS may be a little bit thicker than the Note 20. Now the iPhone XS does kind of have, you know, they're both flat panels for the most part. The iPhone XS has a little bit of a dip, but not really, you can't really tell. So both of them are pretty thick phones, but do keep in mind, like I said, the iPhone XS is smaller pretty much in every dimension as you can kind of see. And on the back, you can see triple camera setup on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and a dual camera setup on the iPhone XS. Now, we do have a skin on it. I'm not going to say who it's from because it's not sponsored or anything. Now, the crazy thing to keep in mind, though, is that the iPhone XS has that glass back on it. You know, it's underneath the skin. It's a very good glass back. You know, it feels good. It's not frosted, but it feels good for the most part. The Note 20, on the other hand, has a plastic back. It's not glass. It's plastic. And that's one of the craziest things ever, how you're going to have a phone in 2020 and have a plastic back on it. Think about, like, the Samsung Galaxy, like, Note 5, the iPhone 4S, all had glass backs. And this phone went backwards, and it's a $1,000 phone with a plastic back. It's crazy. It does not make any sense. But... Samsung decided to put in it, so can't really do anything about it, just gonna have to deal with it. So definitely when it comes down to it, I truly believe that the iPhone XS is the better built phone, but the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 looks better. It has the bigger display, and I honestly do like a bigger display at the end of the day, so pretty much you're just gonna have to kind of make up your mind. <laughs> Now, in terms of the software, obviously, there's some pretty big differences. On the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, we're running Android. On the iPhone XS, we're running iOS. And again, you're just going to have to determine which one you like. In my opinion, I like both. But One UI is not my cup of tea. I don't really like it that much. In terms of software, you're going to have to, again, figure out which one you like. I would prefer iOS over this type of One UI. But I love stock Android, too. In terms of longevity of software, the iPhone XS is probably still going to overtake the Note 20. The Note 20 is still going to have a really good, you know, longevity. If you get both of these phones now, they're both going to be supported for a long time. But the iPhone XS may be the better one when it comes down to longevity. You have three years of software here. We're probably going to end up getting, you know, maybe another like four versions of software on the iPhone XS potentially. Realistically, like maybe three and then a year of security updates or two. But again, I think software-wise longevity, the iPhone XS may win. The Note 20 is still really, really good in terms of software too. So maybe a tie, I really don't know, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Now we'll do a little bit of a speed test between the two. The iPhone XS has the 
Apple A12 Bionic chip, hexcore CPU with 4 gigs of RAM on each model, with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset, not to core CPU, and Adreno 650 GPU, and 8 gigs of RAM on the single model that it supported. So let's go and see which one is the fast one between the two. Okay, now that we're back, let's go ahead and clear out all the apps in the background. As you can see, we have a couple on the Note 20, and we have one on the iPhone XS. So all the apps are cleared out. Let's do their designated Play Stores 3, 2, 1. Note 20 faster iPhone 10 is definitely noticeably slower than it, you know, no knock to it. As you can see, scrolling speeds, I, I don't know, it's kind of a tie. It looked like the iPhone 10 was glitching up in the beginning with, but now they look kind of the same. If anything, the iPhone 10 may look a little bit smoother there, so that one is pretty interesting. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I think the Note 20 was faster there. Messages, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that one is kind of interesting. <laughs> we can do these third-party apps now. I have a ton of them downloaded. Facebook, 3, 2, 1. And that was very close. That one was very, very close indeed. Snapchat, 3, 2, 1. No 20 faster. iPhone 10 is behind it. Fruit Ninja, 3, 2, 1. Definitely smoother overall on the iPhone 10 in my opinion. I did have a little bit of a hiccup here, so I could redo it. Fruit Ninja again, 3, 2, 1. And I guess it ultimately was faster on the iPhone XS at the end of the day. Note 20 again, very fast device as well. And gameplay is probably going to be the same. It's not really that crazy intensive of an app. Snake vs. Blocks, 3, 2, 1. Note 20 faster, followed by the iPhone XS a little bit behind it. Let's get into some gameplay. And they look about the same. I don't really think... Actually, the iPhone XS looked a little glitchy in the beginning with, but still about the same on both. Instagram, 3, 2, 1. Okay, iPhone XS faster iPhone, or no 20 faster, iPhone 10 is a little bit behind it. Stack, 3, 2, 1. Now I always get an ad on this, which is really annoying. But actually, you got into the ad faster on the iPhone 10s. The Note 20 was a little bit behind it. Top out of this, let's get into some gameplay. And like I said before, it's probably going to be around the same. I don't think there's going to be that big of a difference in the gameplay department. Netflix, 3, 2, 1. And pretty instantaneous on the Note 20. The 10 is a little bit behind it. Twitter, 3, 2, I don't even have Twitter here. We can go ahead and do Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1. Now hopefully I have a download right here. There's a chance I might not even have it downloaded. And the Note 20 faster. Maybe the 10s is a little bit behind it. As you can see, the 10s was just a little bit behind it. I know I say that all the time, but the Note 20 was definitely the fast one when it came down to that. We can go and go to the beginning, 3, 2, 1. Let's see how good the RAM management is on both. And you know, I didn't load up too many crazy apps. But maybe we could still see a little bit of a difference. We can do Facebook. That seems to be a good one. And both seem to still be doing a pretty decent job. We can do Snapchat. As you can see, Snapchat did restart on the iPhone XS, where the Note 20 was able to keep it out in the background. We can go back into Fruit Ninja. 3, 2, 1. And again, the Note 20 was able to keep that in the background, where the iPhone XS was able to, where the iPhone XS restarted it. So... Definitely when it comes down to the RAM management portion, I think the Note 20 will definitely win. The iPhone XS was still a really good performing phone, but I think for the sake of this comparison, the Note 20 was actually the faster one, and it has better RAM management, which is good. You know, it's a newer phone. You should have those things in it. So for sure, I think the Note 20 would definitely wins there, which is really good. So in terms of performance, the Note 20 wins. Now let's go and hit on the cameras. As I said before, a triple camera setup on the Note 20 and a dual camera setup on the 10s. On the 10s, you have a 12 megapixel wide and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. On the Note 20, you have a 12 megapixel wide, 64 megapixel telephoto lens, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. And for sure, I can definitely tell you, the iPhone XS has always had a really, really good camera on it. It's definitely not, you know, the craziest. You can do 4K at 60 on the iPhone XS. The Note 20, you can do 8K, which is a huge capability on it. But as you can see, you know, camera quality is going to be great. If you want to see a full comparison between these two, let me know. I don't know how many views this is going to get, so it might be pointless. But camera quality is going to be really, really good. A really cool thing, though, is that you do have that telephoto lens. So you can zoom in a lot and take a photo this far into it if you want to. If you had a landscape, then it'll be really cool. However, it does not have an ultra wide sensor, which does kind of suck. You can't go out that much. And in this day and age, it is really good to have multiple camera setups. You want as many cameras as possible. That's one thing and one reason why the newer phones are bringing tons of cameras. Like the Note 20 has three, the S20 Ultra has four, and we're only getting more. So in my opinion, the iPhone XS's quality is great. You can still do 4K at 60. 
You have a 7 megapixel front facing camera that can do 1080p at 60 frames per second and for sure I think the iPhone XS camera is good for the most part quality photos and quality videos for sure. But the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 I believe will definitely take that to the next level. Like I said, triple camera setup, you have that telephoto lens so you can zoom in as much as you want to and you have that ultra wide sensor where you can zoom out as much as you want to. As you can see, it just switched over to that ultra wide sensor, you can see my legs. And for sure this camera is very very great you have like i said 4k 60 which matches the iphone 10s but you also have that 8k capability on the note 20 as well but on top of that i think the ui is better on the note 20 you have way more capability and way more features as you can see a ton of different features right here you have the pro options you have panorama which we have on the 10s you have a ton of different things too and i definitely do think the note 20 has the better camera setup and the better ui as well by having all those different features within it now the Note 20 also has a 10 megapixel front facing camera and this can do 4K at 60. So for sure you're going to be getting a better quality resolution on the Note 20 as well in terms of video and in terms of that front camera as well, which is really, really cool. So in terms of the camera, you have to give the edge to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. It's going to have the better overall camera setup and the better overall camera features as well. So the Note 20 definitely wins there. Now ending it off with the battery life, on the iPhone XS you have a 2,658 million power battery. The Note 20, we have a 4,300 million power battery. And in my opinion, you're going to be getting the better battery life from the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. I don't like a lot of things about the Note 20, but the battery life is definitely one of my favorite things about it. It's very good. And because of that low resolution panel, it kind of adds in its favor of having that better battery life. So for sure, at the end of the day, I give the edge to the Note 20. The iPhone XS's battery life was never really that amazing. It was good, but it still left a lot to be desired. So so for sure, at the end of the day, the Note 20 will win in the battery life department. And the kind of sum of the video and answer the comparison do, to be honest, the Note 20, I think, is the more superior phone. Obviously, it has more capability. It has more options. You know, it's better camera setup, better battery life. The S Pen capability, bigger screen if you like that, better performance. But the iPhone XS, if I had the XS, I would not go and upgrade just yet. I would definitely keep the XS for at least another year or two and wait for the Note 20 to go down in value a little bit. And then I would go ahead and pick this up if I wanted to. But even then, by the time the Note 20, you know, I would wait for like the Note 21 or something, to be honest. The XS though, great phone, great build quality, great software, software longevity for a long time too. Good camera for the most part, good performance, smooth experience. But definitely the Note 20 is the better phone for sure. And I feel comfortable saying that. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.